Hi everyone, we are back talking SLP teletherapy using the platform Google Meet. So I've been working really hard to figure out some workarounds to make the Google Meet platform a little bit more interactive for our students. So I know a lot of other video conferencing platforms have some of this stuff built in. So for Google Meet, it's just gonna kind of take that extra step of adding an extension or figuring out how it's gonna work best on our students' end. So to start off with, I'm gonna talk about screen sharing. So of course, you're gonna to go to the present now and click how you wanna share your screen. I am always gonna recommend that you have two separate browser windows open because if I only have this one browser, and I have my videos here and then click over to an activity, I now can't see my videos. So I had been recommending to people open Chrome twice or grab your tab and pull it out and resize the window so you have two separate side-by-side -side windows. There's a Chrome extension that will do that for you. So I think it's pronounced dual-less. Over here, if you look in the Chrome web store or you just Google it, this blue button will add it to your browser and what that will look like is go to this icon and you can select how you want your windows to be split up. You could do 50-50. I like this seven to three version. Oh, now I know what I did wrong. Okay. All right, so I want my window with the video to be the small one. So when I go to select that ratio, I'm gonna click the small one there we go, that worked. So that I come over here as the small video and then my activities will be over here on the other side. So what I've done for my students this week is I made a very simple little visual schedule in Word so that they can have that visual support for what they could expect in the session and then I can also remember what I planned. So I'm gonna show you some things for articulation, language, and then of course, incorporating AAC. So the first thing I did, one of my favorite tools that I found this week was Jamboard. So it's an interactive whiteboard. You could use it just as a whiteboard. How I used it this week in therapy was I went to lesson picks. I didn't create any of the things that I used in teletherapy. I borrowed from the generosity of others. I downloaded this on from lesson picks. You have to save it as a picture, not as a PDF. So I just took a screen grab, saved the picture to my Google Drive. Then you can say add image to your Jamboard. You could search something from the web or you could go to your Google Drive to pull that in. I just used the highlighter feature. Again, this is really simple. I had the student pick a color and then I was controlling it. I said, okay, your next word, here it is, fine. So, Something I really like about Jamboard is because it's a Google product, you can share it just like you could share a doc or slides so that you can share this with your student and give them control on their end without having to navigate the screen sharing. So they can do this on a computer or on a Chromebook. If you want to use that share feature with your students who um, have Google accounts, again, I've showed this before, the interactive PowerPoints. I also downloaded this from Lesson Picks. You can download it as a PowerPoint, open it in Google Slides so that you can use this share feature. And then you and your student have the same view and they can be grabbing the icons and interacting with it that way. Next thing on our list, books. I've been loving Epic. I found these books that um, just have different sounds in them. So this has been perfect for articulation. It's been a nice way to engage with kids. And of course you can use any book. I've seen the tip of, if you can't find a book on Epic or another online platform, it's probably on YouTube. You can turn the sound off and click forward 15 seconds. Um, and that works pretty well to turn the pages. So next thing on our schedule, YouTube. I have been really liking wordless shorts. It's nice to use those because I just turn the sound down and play it and it really elicits a lot of language from the students. So with that, great time to um, model some AAC. Again, it's gonna be a little funky because we're pulling up a bunch of different windows. So I'm gonna do the example with new voice. If I had my student here in this video with me, I might just take this over and cover myself up or you can um, stick it wherever it works. You can shrink this down so that you have your video on top and your AAC system on bottom so that you can model 
go and then play the video. And again, because it's wordless, it won't really interrupt much if you're just providing aided language stimulation throughout that. So as always, I hope these tips are helpful um, in getting you going with your teletherapy using Google Meet.